Hello, my name is Russell Secker. I was a uh, fit and active man until I hit my 60th birthday and uh, I started to develop some really quite unpleasant uh, health conditions. I started getting terrible, terrible grinding headaches. Uh, I started developing hypersomnolence, so I was sleeping up to 20 hours a day. Uh, I was confused. I, I lost my sense of balance, my sense of taste, my sense of smell, my sense of swallow. Um, I had heart arrhythmias, uh, shortness of breath. And at first, doctors weren't sure what was the problem. Uh, migraines were suggested and then possible early onset dementia. Uh, but it took quite a long time traveling through the, the first the A&E system and then into uh, neurological wards before I was diagnosed as having some kind of spinal fluid leak. Uh, my brain was sagging down my spine and that was causing all of these various symptoms. The problem was that the, uh, the NHS doctors couldn't determine where my spine was leaking. Um, eventually my neurologist suggested that my wife and I try uh, doctors in the United States where there is kind of more aggressive treatment for CSF leaks. So we tried a, a couple of the mo most renowned facilities and we ended up um, connecting with uh, Dr. Shavink at the Cedars Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. He, he looked at my scans and, and uh, agreed to take on my case. So a month later, uh, my wife and I, I was flown to uh, Los Angeles we saw Dr. Shavink. Two days later, I had a, uh, a piece of uh, radiology called, a, called digital subtraction myelography, which uh, located the fact that there was a, a cyst on my dura and a, and a venous fistula, a, a rogue vein connecting into it. And that's where my fluid was, was draining. Two days after that, I uh, had some really remarkable four hour surgery which um, put a, a clip on the uh, on the dura inside my spine and cauterized off the vein and after that um, within 24 hours uh, my brain started to float back up into my into my skull um, my mental problems uh, receded and within a couple of months I was uh, back to pretty much normal health so I was extremely lucky not only to be diagnosed correctly, uh, but to be subject to, to, to great uh, advanced radiology um, in, in the United States. I'm, since, since my surgery, I've been working with the CSF Leak Association to uh, work with British neurologists and radiologists to get in place some uh, guidelines uh, for, for people who are suffering with CSF leaks like I was, um, to get them through the system more, more expeditiously and to have people treated uh, quickly and not be allowed to, to languish. Um, so that's, uh, that's my, my tale. I'm extremely lucky to be alive and well today. And uh, I wish any fellow sufferers uh, equal good luck. Thank you.